Hey modifiers, and welcome back to another episode of the BMW 2002 Touring Project. As you can see behind me, we have the front panel on, but first we need to go and take a look at the diff and the rear suspension on this thing and start pulling it out. So back in the workshop and the old man's been really busy. He's had a really good tidy up in here and I'm gonna show you, now you may not think this is tidy uh, on camera, but it is very tidy in here. The claws, floors are clean. Like I would, I'd probably eat off these floors. Let's have a quick look here. He's done a bloody good job, it looks really good. So real tidy, nice and clean. He's starting to set up the welder and got all his welding gear sorted so he can crack on with that. But yeah, real like everything's organized. He had a busy weekend. Um, I'm gonna go ahead now and pull out the diff, or attempt to. Looks like it should be all good. And yeah. Let's get it out of the way and see where we've got to go. We're going to try and berth this diff. Got the bolts out. Fairly straightforward. Um, two bolts up here and then two bolts up through the subframe there. So we have the drive shaft bolts out and I've basically taken all the uh, main bolts out. Just got two that are fairly loose. Let's whip those out. <coughs> and we should be able to give birth to a diff. You know, it's gonna be, uh, how old is this car? 45 years old. It's a 40, we're giving birth to a 45 year old diff. <laughs> Holy crap. That one's all good. Should be able to, in theory, just take this off. Dirty up here. The only thing holding it in is that one bolt. Let's see how heavy this is. <laughs> oh, yeah, probably quite heavy. <clears throat> oh, no. Fucking hell. Oh. Not too bad. Maybe 20 kilos. No worries, mate. Looking good. Very dirty up there. Very dirty. Right, let's get this diff out. old diff. Actually it looks pretty damn clean. Someone take that apart. Must have. Looks way too good. Right so we have the diff out. Got to get that cut that exhaust off further up and throw that away and pull the drive shaft out. <clears throat> also Got the bolts off here for the rear subframe, but they're on very large bolts here that he can't take out, so, well not that I know of. So we have to lift the car up and drop the subframe out. Which shouldn't be too hard, we'll just lower this thing down onto a, onto a transmission jack. Let that fall out and then put it back down. Beautiful. Right. 
Put just the lid, if you put the lid down. Perfect. You got that? Yep. I got that. We might be able to get this re re what's name? Yeah. But apparently they can put those back on again. The heated rear screen thing, so you can put them back on. Yeah, I mean if it's not Apparently if it's not it. yeah if it's not stupid money then it will be worth it. They'll polish it and put that back on. That's right, it's off. Put it on that bit of plastic there, on the bottle bowl. And if you come round, just, right, hold on. That just let's pray that that, doesn't, that bonnet doesn't come down. Right. You got it? Good? Got the bonnet? Yep, yep, yep. Cool. To me, to you, to me, to you. To me, to you. And surprisingly, this window trim, you know, this, the window molding is actually really f good. There's a little rust hole there, but I mean, really, for this age of the car, that's amazing. Oh, I was expecting worse. Look at it. Yeah, I was that's expecting it is. much worse. And even up here, it's a little bit rotten out, but that's no, um, that's pretty that damn up, good. Reseal that. What we do need to do is get this dent out of here. While it's in the right place. Actually no, let's go and have a cup of tea and then we'll come back out. <coughs> get Priorities. Tea. Tea. And then we'll get that dent out. Right, that's pushing it out. There's filler in there. Now, when you let that off, let's see how far back it goes. You got it? Yeah. That went in a bit. But let's have a look. Yeah, it still needs coming out. <coughs> yeah, see, it's gone back in again. Not as far as it was. Oh, lovely. Fucking awesome. Nice. Okay, let's try that again. Okay. Ah, fuck you. Winning, winning. Do you feel lucky, punk? Oh my god! Ah. Uh, 3M for the win!
So we had a few parts turn up. We had the front panel, we had a door, we had the full turbo flare kit, so it's the front air dam, the full flares, the fitting kit, everything else that comes with it, some pictures here, and we're really excited to get things moving on this project. Now this front panel is one of the biggest things we've been waiting for because it's kind of a pinnacle point in the whole thing and really one of the worst um, parts that needs fixing. As well we have a new floor pan that can be going in and we're thinking about getting a driver's door because the door that we bought was so good even though there was a little dent in it and along with the, uh, the front air dam there was some shipping damage on that but luckily uh, my dad knows somebody who can fiberglass and they fixed that for us uh, pretty easily by the looks of things so awesome on that one. In the next episode, you'll be seeing the old man starting to fabricate the parts for the front to finish off the front and also getting ready to get it all in place and spot weld that together. And we'll be looking at other parts as well that need fabricating to get into this. So we have some other rust issues in this that we need to deal to. But let's look at this front panel first in the next episode and we'll go from there. Please guys, like, subscribe and comment. Uh, it'd be nice to see you in the next video. See you later.